Hey, I'm Roland with mobilegeeks.com and .de and what we have right here is the new Yota phone. The Yota phone is made by a Russian company of the same name and it's basically a 4.3 inch Android based smartphone that not only has a 4.3 inch screen on the front with a 720p resolution and decent hardware based around a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro MSM 8960 dual core at 1.7 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of onboard storage, but it also has a 4.3 inch e-ink or e-paper display on the back, which is running at a resolution of 640 by 360 pixels. And it makes you able to actually send stuff from the front to the back of the phone to actually have it readily available at any given time because the screen on the back actually works without power. So it just works basically just like your Kindle or any other e-reader display because it only updates when power is applied or something new is actually happening. The rest of the time it actually keeps this state and shows whatever you just push to it. Uh, Yota is actually running a basic Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean on this device, but they've included a bunch of apps made by themselves that are stored in this drawer that you get up here. And when you take a look, it says background, bookmate is, bookmate mate is actually kind of a, an e-reader app. You have the internet hub right there that combines a feed reader for RSS feeds, Twitter, uh, Facebook, becontacted.ru, which is basically a Russian Facebook. Um, and it gives you access to your um, kind of, uh, you have a, you have a, note-taking application right there you have a calendar or organizer right there and the learning app that makes you able to learn languages on the back of the device actually so what you would do in a normal use case is basically you can push any content that comes up on the front back to the back actually so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to swipe down with my two fingers which doesn't always work yet but they're still working on it and is it it just worked right now because now I have actually a copy of my home screen on the back of the device. So this actually works with any app. So if you go into your uh, usual browser and I have news on winfuture.de right here and I want to read that later, I can actually do the swiping stuff again if it ever does what I, what I wanted to. Now it worked. And then you have the article on the back and if you want more to be pushed to the back, you can just scroll further down in your article, do the swiping stuff again, and there's the rest of it. And when you've unlocked the device, you can actually keep using the back part because it has this touch part down here. There's not a touch screen on here. You have to use this part down here, but there's a bunch of features in this, so I'm going to show you that right now. Um, I've just pushed a second part of this article to the back right so i can cycle through the different parts or screenshots by pressing the volume up and down buttons so i've started reading this is the first page click down and you end up on the second page you can also use this touch part down here to actually swipe between the pages it takes a bit because it's an e-paper display right and that actually makes you able to navigate through the pages on the back of the device. Um, there are a bunch of features integrated for making the e-paper display more useful. So you have kind of a task manager back here. So if you hold this down here, this comes up and it, well, it doesn't stay there, obviously. I'm just gonna try that again. Just hold it and up comes, this is for the background. This is the organizer calendar style. This is the screenshot part or the reader part that I just used or the internet hub. And now you can navigate through these by swiping again. Go back up again like this. And if you wanna select something, just hold it again and up comes the internet hub. In this case, I've just subscribed to our Mobile Geeks RSS feed for the German site and I can navigate through those updates just by pressing the volume up and down buttons or by swiping on the bottom of the device. Here you actually end up on the front 
and you can flip through all those pages on the device itself. Another cool feature is actually this organizer thing. So you have an, an app in Android on the front. Come on. It, it is not really final yet. They're still working on it, they're st but they're actually launching it. And what you see down here is you're actually able to have notifications show up on the device on the back, even while the front screen is turned off, as you can see right there. So what you get is Twitter updates, email updates, Facebook updates, whatever you want, even calls and other stuff to show up on the back. But let's get back to the calendar right here. So I have this calendar running right now and it shows me that my boss actually has his fictional birthday tomorrow, which is not really his birthday. I just entered it. And you can, again, flip through all those different happenings by pressing the buttons or by swiping. Another feature that you get with it is the notification part that I just had on the back there. And you can actually combine that with other features or other apps from Yota phone. So when you have um, the stuff set up correctly, you will actually be able to have different backgrounds. So in this case, I have configured it to show this background picture of this elephant right there, a clock down here, and you can actually add widgets. So if I want, I can have the battery on there. I have, can have a big clock, a small clock, weather data, my alarm clock, uh, meetings, whatever, and this status bar that I just put up there. So when I press this button, it actually shows up on the back and there you go. You have this notification uh, bar up here. It tells me that the back screen is actually locked. There's my battery indicator. That's the weather outside in Berlin. It's really, really cold right now because winter's starting. You have the big watch down here and the backgrounds actually change from time to time if you set it up that way. And you can even flip through these if you've set it up that way. Um, Yota Phone is actually working on more stuff to be integrated and they're just launching the device today, I think. I can't tell you the price right now, but it's definitely coming up. Um, what you do is basically you have those Android apps on the front. You can actually add notifications or just take jot down some notes on the front and have them always pushed to the back. So if you would have like whatever shopping list right here, you can just hit that button and you have your shopping list on the back right there. And it definitely uh, locks the phone itself when you turn it around because they have set up the device to actually notice when the gyroscope notices that you turn it around, basically. Um, there's a couple of other apps. Like, for example, the newsreader and the organizer and all those other things. And as you can see right here, you can have Twitter updates. We contact a uh, Facebook favorites. You can even read news on the back of the device right there if you just set it up that way, or you can add your own RSS feeds. Uh, the cool part about this is actually that the screen on the back stays active all the time, so you can actually have the device set up in a way that when the battery runs out, you can actually have uh, information for later use on the back of the device. So if you need special numbers of anybody you want to call or uh, friends, or if the, even if the device gets lost, you can actually set up to have phone numbers, info about yourself, uh, the last opened app screenshot, or uh, different uh, the different backgrounds, that I, as I showed you earlier, still showing on the back even when the battery has run out because this is an e-paper display and it stays like that all the time if you just have updated it once and the battery runs dry. doesn't really matter for the device because it is actually able to do all that kind of stuff. All right, so I've been rolling with Mobile Geeks, trying to figure out how to make the Yoda phone do what I want it to. Uh, the device is available as of, I think, today in Russia, and it's coming out in all kinds of places around Europe. That's what I know. I don't know if, if it launches in the US, but we will see about that, and we'll tell you 
on mobilegeeks.com and mobilegeeks.de. Thank you.